Welcome to From the Pastor's Kitchen, where I get to share with you two of my greatest passions, my love of Christ and cooking. I am going to do a phenomenal meatloaf for you today. Um, this is my spin on a stuffed meatloaf, but I'm going to stuff it with spinach. I'm going to cook it the traditional way, the way that I normally do. And then I'm going to actually stuff it with spinach, and you get an opportunity to see that. This is a winner. Anyone that tries it and anyone that eats it falls in love with it. And so now I get an opportunity to share with the P-Fam today. So let's get started on the ingredients that I have. Don't get nervous by the ingredients. Let me share something with you. If you prep before you cook, everything is laid out for you, it becomes really simple. If you're going to do a large meal, then prep the day before. And so you have minimum work to do. So I always prepare everything in advance, dice up everything when I have a thought on cooking something. So it makes it really simple for you. Cooking is not difficult. It is something that you should enjoy. Especially if you love to, love to eat. All right, let's get started. I'm going to share with you all of the ingredients now. Okay, this is my meatloaf. This is my spinach. I have three eggs that I'm gonna add to this meatloaf. I have a half of a green pepper, red pepper, and onions. I have an eight ounce package of Philadelphia cream cheese that's gonna go into the spinach. I have the uh, about one roll of Ritz crackers to go into this meatloaf. And then I have the Hunt's meatloaf sauce. This stuff is phenomenal. You can't find it everywhere, but I have um, found it in one store. And when I find it, I buy three and four cans at one time. It's the meatloaf sauce. Isn't that the traditional uh, tomato sauce or tomato paste that you would put on there? We're going to add this to the meatloaf as well as top it off with it as well. So let's get started, people. Are you ready? This is the meatloaf. I only use turkey. So I'm going to mash it up. Here's my turkey. Real simple. It's not a lot to do with it. And then we're going to start adding the ingredients in here. Okay? All of my peppers and my onions all in here together. Keep it simple. Just put them all in together. There we go. Half of a green pepper. It's going to expand out even more so when I put the crackers in and all the other ingredients in. I'm gonna start out with two eggs first. Why do you add the eggs? The eggs, eggs add the moisture to your turkey. Turkey is dry. You know, it doesn't have any fat in it. So it doesn't give off a lot of oils. So you wanna make sure that your turkey is moist. Okay, there we go. See how that is? Now, let's add some of these crackers in. This is a roll of, of, of Ritz crackers. I only use Ritz crackers. My mother used to use saltine crackers, but that was her choice. This adds a richer a flavor to it. It's enhanced. And you don't need to add any adobo. You don't need to add any salt to this at all. So I put half of them in at one time, and we'll see how that's going to work for us. I also add in some Italian crumbs, breadcrumbs in here to add seasoning to this, add a little flavor to it. That's it right there. And I may not use all of the um, crackers in here, may not need to. Sometimes it, you have to determine it by the size of the meatloaf that you, uh, yeah, the turkey that you are going to prepare. And I may not need any more. It makes it more, much more solid too when you add it to it. Oh wow, there we go. Okay, I'm going to add now some garlic and herbs and seasoning in here. That should do it. Some black pepper. I didn't measure these out, people. And so you have to eye some things. I put some measurements out there for you. For some folks, they got to have it. And then you will season it according to how you um, like your flavor in there. 
So let's take this up a notch. In my meatloaf, I use some Worcester sauce. It doesn't matter. Today, this is what I have, so this is what I use. Oh, we want to bring this turkey up a notch. This is key right here. All right, let's put that all together now. I tell you, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Yes, it is. It's phenomenal. We're going to add a few more crackers in here. I can see that. So I've used just about uh, the package of crackers. That's all you have to do to them. And my last egg, here we go. Because of the size of the meatloaf. If I was doing a smaller meatloaf uh, with um, a small package, this is about a three pound package of meatloaf. That is why I'm putting in three eggs. Three pounds of meatloaf. And I want to make sure that it has all of the flavor in it, all of the ingredients in it, all of the seasoning that would go down through here, okay? That is just about it for this. One last thing that we need to do. This is the meatloaf sauce. I'm gonna use half of this in here, and this small amount I'm gonna leave to top it off. Let's put it in there. Oh, it smells phenomenal. Yes, it does. No salt. Saltine crackers that I'm using already. No salt in here. It'll just it'll just be too much. It'll be too salty. But but for those that that, that enjoy it, I won't I won't deny you that. <laughs> but for me, we don't do it. This is a meatloaf package that I also use. This was the traditional way of just doing it, but I want to build the flavor in here for the meatloaf in here. I'm going to save this other part of the package. I'm using maybe two thirds of this package in here and that I'm going to save for later to show you how to keep this meatloaf moist. This is just my way of doing it. Oh, it makes a difference, people. It makes a difference. This is my meatloaf. I'm going to keep on doing this to make sure that I get this through and through. Pick it up from the bottom and make sure that the flavor, all of the seasonings, everything is going through this. Makes a difference. There we go. I'm going to do just a little bit more breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs, because the seasoning in here in the Italian breadcrumbs. There we go. That should do it. That's the meatloaf mixture. That is it, okay? Now, let's sit this to the side and let's get ready for what I'm gonna stuff it with. I'm going to stuff it with spinach. I took a family size package that was about a two, um, it was a large package, I'll, I'll put the actual size in there, of a family size frozen spinach and I took it and I uh, drained it from all of the liquid on it. That's what you have to do, it has to be dry. And then I am ready now to add in half of this coarse vegetable recipe mix. You know you use this when you're making spinach dip. I'm only gonna use half of it. I'm not gonna use all of it. That's it. And it's eight ounce package of Philadelphia cream cheese. That's it. This is my stuffing. I'm not adding anything else to it at all because everything else is flavored already. That's all I'm gonna do with this. It's one eight ounce package here. There we go. And we're gonna stuff this in the meatloaf, in the middle of the meatloaf. Phenomenal, phenomenal. This is phenomenal. Make sure you get it all around and all of this in there. And this is all you need. 
but you gotta make sure that it goes through and through. That's key. You see there? I'm making sure that I have this Philadelphia cream cheese in this spinach. You're gonna take a little bit more of the seasoning here and put it in there. I'm not seasoning my spinach with anything else. I want every bite of this to have flavor. And so I'm layering it. It's what I normally do anyway. I layer with flavors. So it gives you that wow effect. You'd be like, wow, what is that in there? It's not just the Philadelphia cream cheese, which makes it, it enhances the flavor automatically, but that isn't enough. It really isn't. Okay. That's it, people. Let's get ready to put it in the, in the large pan that we're gonna cook it in. Here we go. Okay, meatloaf, people. Here we go. Take the meatloaf and prepare it into a loaf. Don't be scared of the meatloaf. I'm gonna prepare it into a loaf. But I'm gonna take a small portion of it and lay it down and open it in the center like this. I normally do two meatloafs. So let's do the first one. This will have nothing in it. No spinach in it, nothing at all. I do two meatloafs. Why? Because my family really eats this meatloaf. I want you all to know that. Okay, so I'm going to take it and open it in the center like so. Then I'm going to take my spinach. I got to take my hands and put this in here, people. Don't be scared of it. I may have to be able to stuff both of them. I've never stuffed both of them. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's my spinach in the center of here. Taking it and putting it in the center there. There we go, there we go. Then I'm gonna take my meatloaf and put this on the top of here. Take my other meatloaf and put this on the top of here. I won't be able to make another one, but it's okay. That's my meatloaf, people. You gotta put your hands on it in order to shape it and to do it like this. So don't be afraid of your food that you're cooking to do. That's my smaller version right here. So I didn't make a big version, I made a smaller version right there. And that's the spinach. And I'll use this other spinach that's over here in a spinach dip. Nothing goes to waste. I can take that and make that into a spinach dip. Okay, there we go. Now the secret to keeping my meatloaf moist, this is what I do. I take the last portion of this this meatloaf, I don't, I don't use a lot of it because it, it, has, it has a lot of sodium in it. And I'm going to take this and fill this with warm water. I'm filling it with warm water. I'm giving you my secret. This is what I do. Take this, the warm water is in here so I can break up the, the uh, contents of this meatloaf um, with herbs and all the seasoning in here. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pour it in here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it and pour it in here. That is it. I'm gonna take this now and put it in the oven. It's gonna cook for about 45 minutes to an hour down. And uh, then when it's ready, about maybe 10 to 15 minutes that I know before that time, I'm gonna pull it out and put the remainder of this sauce around the sides and the top of both of these meatloafs. Let's put it in the oven now, people. 
Okay, my oven is set to 350 degrees. It is now in the oven. I'm gonna put a timer on for about uh, 45 minutes. We're gonna do 45 minutes first. And then when I see it's about uh, 30 minutes in, I'm gonna take it and then we're gonna top it. And I'll give you an opportunity to see how it looks then. And then we'll have the finished product, all right? Be back soon. Hey, P-Fam, while I'm waiting for the meatloaf to cook within the next maybe 30 minutes, it's about 15 minutes in now, I want to share with you my word for the day. Walk. Enoch walked with God. Phenomenal. Uh, I just read that this morning, too, and it really uh, pierced my heart, penetrated my spirit. Enoch walked with God. What am I trying to say? Enoch walked with God, meaning Enoch walked in obedience, meaning Enoch walked by faith. And many times for us in our lives, we always want the answer. God, can you give me the answer now? We prophesy in part. You know, we don't get the fullness of it. God has not given man the fullness of everything because he is God. And so sometimes we have to rely on the bits, the small portions of whatever God gives us and continue to walk in the mission that he has called you to. And finality comes as we are walking by faith. So as Enoch walked with God, being obedient, the word says to be willing and obedient is what God has called us to. Being willing and obedient, we get to eat the good of the land. We know that Enoch did not die at all. He didn't die in the natural death. He went on with the Lord. The Lord took him. My God, that is so wonderful uh, to be able to know that uh, the completion of what we do is when we walk in faith. Whatever the instructions the Lord has given you, walk by faith. That is what I want to leave the church with today. And those that do not know God in the parting of your sins, there's an opportunity for you to repent and to be saved. Walk with the Lord. That's the best friend we have. The peace that we get when we walk with him and the instructions like no other. It doesn't matter what knowledge you have, my God, but it matters walking with the Lord. Now that I've shared my word with you, walk, I want to share my appetizer with you. I took the remaining amount of my spinach, added some artichokes to it, seasoned it up a little bit more, put a little bit more of the cores in there that I had left over in the package, and it is now a spinach dip. If I wanted it warm, I probably would put some Monterey Jack cheese in it, put it in the oven. It is just awesome, but it's good all by itself. Come on, take a glance at it. This is my spinach dip. I wanted to be able to share it with you. Artichokes are in it. Season a little bit more with some garlic in here as well and a little bit of black pepper. And these chips I have are chia and quinoa chips. I want to share those with you. Just some, some tips on some things. This late July, these chia and quinoa chips, are phenomenal. Seasoned just right and everything. So while I'm waiting, I have an opportunity to feast on this appetizer. I'll be back in about 30 minutes, pulling out that meatloaf and then sharing that with you. Okay, P-Fam, it's been about 35 minutes. We're gonna take the remainder of this sauce is meatloaf sauce and put it on the meatloaf. The reason I didn't do it before because if I put it on the top, I don't like for it to be burned either. I just want the sauce to get on it. It's already inside the mixture, but it enhances it and it, and it gives it a, a, a beautiful coating at the same time. Food not only should taste good, it should look good, okay? Just wanna leave that with a couple of people because if you're serving me something sometimes and it may not look that great, it may not be that great, but sometimes it can be surprising as well. So I need to say that too, because sometimes my, some of my meals that are the worst are the best in looking. But I know that, but I won't feed that to anybody but my family. All right, here we go. It's going back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes, and then I'll bring it out for the final presentation. 
Okay, P fam, it is out of the oven. The meatloaf, doesn't it look phenomenal? I'm gonna let it rest for like 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna cut it and plate it. And then you get the opportunity to see the stuffed spinach inside of it. We'll be back. Hey, P fam, I am back with the final presentation. And I needed to correct something too before I actually show you this, this meatloaf, my lord, that I'm about to uh, really enjoy. Uh, meatloaf cooked for about an hour and 20 to an hour and 30 minutes. You need to cook that long so it's cooking through and through and you'll be able to see that as well. But it's going to be moist. It's not going to be dry at all because of the way that we put the uh, liquid around it with the seasoning in there. So it will make a, a wonderful meal for you. So now I'm going to share with you the final presentation. I have some mashed potatoes that I did earlier and some mixed vegetables that I steamed as well. And now here is the meatloaf. Meatloaf with the spinach in it, uh, the mixed vegetables and the mashed potatoes. All right. This is my dinner for tonight. And I get to share it with you, my dinner for tonight. And so let me thank the Lord first while I uh, take a bite of this meatloaf. Put a little bit of the spinach as well as the meatloaf. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. I tell you, uh, with the spinach inside it, wonderful. Uh, seasoned just right. Everything is seasoned just right. Not too much, not over seasoned at all. The taste is, as I say all the time, this is phenomenal. This is one of those dishes you want to keep this menu uh, with a family more than enough for a, a great uh, dinner. Uh, definitely more than enough. Until next week, everybody, please like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to provide you with the recipe and all of the ingredients in it as well. Until next week, once again, everybody.